Good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Yes, I am sat in the glorious sunlight beaming in the window right now from Heathrow Town 4. I'm heading on a really exciting press trip today and I'm dressed up because I am not going to lie, I'm flying in business class for the first time. I'm so excited. But I'm heading to Sri Lanka for a press trip and it's going to be incredible. We're going to be experiencing the Hilton Yala Resort which I'll be taking you along to and I have the most incredible itinerary coming up so this vlog is going to be really really fun but I wanted to start the vlog off in the airport because I always get so excited by the vibes in here and um, yeah, there's a lot of things to come because we're going to be chilling in the lounge. There's a group of us, I think maybe five or six of us. I need to actually count how many people are in the WhatsApp group, but one of the journalists I am familiar with, so it's going to be really, really nice. I just know it, but yeah, just wanted to intro the vlog and say good morning. I've been up here and I've been at Heathrow for like two hours already. Um, I got dropped in early, but actually I kind of prefer that because I wanted to kind of run a couple of errands and because there's shops on this side, you can kind of pick up some bits. So I picked up like a head below. Not that I'm going to need it in business class, but we have got a very long transfer like at the other end. And also I have a layover. So I wanted a neck below just in case. Like you never know what you're going to need. Um, it's better to be prepared. I'm not going to lie, flying business, you get so much more luggage space than I realised. I get 40 kg, which it sounds excessive, but like I'm living the dream right now. So I have all my things. I also have Elefante, my elephant toy, in my bag because, of course, he's coming with me. It's going to be such a fun trip. I just wanted to start the vlog off say good morning and yeah as soon as I get airside I will show you and of course show you around the lounge because I've not been in the lounge and um, I'm just wearing this like little boohoo number this boohoo jacket it's quite lightweight because I didn't want to go for anything too heavy because obviously Sri Lanka is going to be very very hot um, I've got a change of clothes I do believe we are getting pajamas on board which will be very nice indeed if we can have those um, but I will show you around I'm sure I'm going to be like a little uh, a little girl basically very excited um, I'm very grateful but I just want to start the vlog off and say good morning welcome and expect lots of content in this vlog this vlog is going to be jam-packed and I'm so excited I can't wait um, but yeah Stay tuned.
Okay guys, I am back in my room. First and foremost, I have a couple of things to address. The first thing being my hair, oh my gosh. I haven't even had a chance to like give you a full room tour, which by the way, I will do in the morning when it's a bit better. I'm in my suite right now. The room has been turned down. I love a Hilton turn down service. My room has been turned down. I have fully unpacked. I am like living and breathing in this suite, but, um, I've got a couple of things to address quickly. First things first being my hair. The humidity. I haven't had my hair this length in a hot country in a hot minute. And turns out it's deciding to flick the other way completely. Like it's had a complete mind of its own this evening. And it was straight when I left um, for dinner this evening. But turns out that's not what's happening here so my hair is giving like a little flick vibe and then I've got these like natural curtain bangs like this is not even styled this is fully my hair just reacting to the warmth of Sri Lanka the next thing the next thing being I have a little friend in my room which I can't wait to fully show you how insane the suite is and outside the view um, but I've had a visitor. I actually walked into my room. So I walked in from this part of the suite, came through and stepped here on the floor. And then this thing just sprung into action across the floor, all over the place. I've got a baby frog in my room. Now I've had to call for the park rangers. So I will kind of explain a bit more in detail the whole situation with this resort but i don't know whether this frog is poisonous or not and i don't want to touch it just in case i also don't want to hurt it it's a tiny baby frog like it's probably frightened as hell of me and probably really annoyed right now that i'm vlogging it stuck to a wardrobe door but it's a really cute baby frog and i don't want to hurt it so um i'm gonna call well i have called for someone to come and come and rescue it because <laughs> my god it's moving oh my good god <sighs> i mean guys this i say this isn't for the faint-hearted it's literally a beautiful wilderness resort i'm in the best place ever but look when it starts moving its legs oh my gosh it just knows i'm talking about it look at him look at him go he looks tiny on the screen but i promise you he's huge i'm really close to him why does he look so small on the screen? I'm really annoyed. It looks like I'm seriously overreacting. But he could be poisonous. Like, I literally don't know. And I don't want to touch him. Just in case he is. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. I'm not going to get too close. Because I'm not joking you. He sprung from the floor. And he jumped for his life up on this thing. Which makes me think he could 100% get in bed with me. And I'm not sure I could cope with that. 
um but this is my this is my suite it is very very lovely but it's not what i was expecting um i was hoping to get an early night so fingers crossed the ranger or someone that can come and like pick up the frog can do so i don't want to hurt it obviously um also as well i was going to mention it tomorrow but i might as well mention it now the resort that i'm staying on the hilton yala resort we are literally on site we are in the national park and there are no boundaries there are no fences i'm not joking you i could literally have bears leopards elephants um water buffalo like anything is possible on the other side of that glass so i have to have the door locked the doors are um really really sturdy like everything's really sturdy and safe but like there's no walking about on your own at night i've been told that i can't run i really wanted to get some running in i'm watching this frog on the side of like my vision i just don't want to lose sight of it in case it does a runner um or like a jump situation um but yeah, I can't run either because it's too dangerous, especially if like a leopard or something sees me running and sees me as a threat or as like um, prey. So we're not gonna do that. We are gonna go to the gym though. And I think I vlogged some clips, but I'm gonna do a proper vlog segment tomorrow morning because I really wanna wake up early and work out. Like I, I'm itching to work out. I'm, I feel that the flight, the flight was great it was like actually very very good and i can't fault business class at all like it was perfect i don't think i would have coped very well with economy i'm not gonna lie um but it is a long travel day like i left my house at oh okay someone's here hang on guys the guy just came to take the frog and i really hope he's still alive i think he is i think he's fine they're just they're probably so used to it they just like scoop them up and they just know what to do um i didn't want to touch it in case it was poisonous and like that would just be the dumbest thing i could possibly do on the first night um but yeah what was i saying i was just saying about the flight so yeah the flight wasn't bad in itself it was just like a lot of travel hours and i was honestly from door to door i left my house at 6 30 in the morning and i've got here the following day at 3 30 that doesn't really sound right 3 30 in the afternoon but they're ahead so i'm thinking that that's like well over 24 hours is it not it's well over um so i've been all over the place like it's been a long long time coming um but yeah we had a stopover in doha i think i've like vlogged enough for you guys to see it so fingers crossed like i'm gonna put as much description as i possibly can i'm also gonna detail like the flight information that i had what we did the tickets that we had etc because i think that makes a huge difference and i'm not saying like i feel amazing because i don't i feel bloated i feel gross um but I feel like that, that's just long haul flying in a nutshell like you never feel perfectly well um or like well slept but i have to say i did have hours of sleep on that plane um the first leg i think i had at least three hours like undisturbed which is insane considering the flight was only six and a bit hours or six hours 50 the second flight was four hours 50 and i probably got two and a half hours solid sleep like undisturbed so again thoughtless in itself but i'm very excited for my stay here and to show you around and i really hope this vlog is going to be like obviously have like moments where it's a little bit educational but also like the realities of staying at a resort that is also you know amidst the wildlife i i love creatures and i obviously want to respect the wildlife as much as possible um occasionally they get into your room but we make it work that's why we've got rangers on site we have buggies that pick us up and like take us and ferry us from our rooms to the main resort because of the potential the potential run-ins with certain animals like elephants and things like that like i wouldn't really know how to deal with an animal if it was going to charge at me like i don't have to deal with it every single day um but yeah i feel very safe here i feel like very at home hilton resorts are honestly my favorite um 
not to pick favourites guys but they've been the best for me personally so I know I'm going to sleep so well tonight just wanted to yeah end today's clip I'm going to get some rest and then hopefully the next few clips are me in the gym kicking ass um at least or getting a run in because I want to get a run in I've packed my um or I've packed some running trainers and I've packed gym gear so we're gonna smash it out galley pops i've got a cooking class tomorrow i've got a bush walk tomorrow which i didn't pack the right stuff for but we're gonna make it work you know see what we can do and yeah we'll go from there i will catch you up fill you in and show you as much as i possibly can but thank you so much if you tuned in so far and if you're curious if you're watching this vlog because you might be staying at yala um fire your questions down below in the description and i will go ahead and continue to answer those comments and questions because i know what it's like when you're researching a resort and you kind of want to um consume a vlog that is about the area and about the resort um but maybe there might be things in this video that you finish watching and you think i want to ask this question fire away it's the purpose of my job it's why i'm doing what i'm doing so um no question is too silly and i want to help so yeah feel free to answer those below and if you aren't subscribed subscribe to my channel because it means the world and i would love more people to see these videos um so without further ado i'm gonna go to bed I'm going to take my makeup off and I'm going to decompress a little bit and I might post some Instagram stories because it's like daylight at home right now so yeah it's a bit weird I'm trying not to think too much about UK time because I know that's going to throw me um but it's like gone 10pm here so it's bedtime for me um but yeah see you in the morning guys Good morning guys. I feel so good. I feel so fresh and amazing now. I'm not gonna lie, last night I was feeling not like jet lagged because I felt like I slept really, really well on the plane considering. Um, but I didn't realize like how much I needed to acclimatize basically to the location and yeah, just have like a good night's sleep because I basically fell asleep and then I woke up like maybe after the first hour because I was I basically fell asleep doing something and then realized you know what let's admit defeat and go to bed like it was 11 11 p.m this time but actually that kind of equated to like half past five in the evening in England so it felt wrong but also because I was really quite tired it kind of felt right so got myself like fully into bed no distractions and had such a good night's sleep i think i woke up at one point at 3 a.m only because i thought it was time to get up um but it wasn't and then was like great i've got more hours i've got more hours to sleep and relax as you guys probably will know but if you do not and you're not familiar hilton beds are probably up there with my favorite hotel beds of all time i think they're probably my favorite just because the pillow to quilt ratio is always spot on it's like the perfect like heaviness i just i love it so much and also i always love their long pillows so i genuinely had the best night's sleep here um i'm actually i'm actually really excited for bed tonight is that really bad um but i'm gonna head off to the gym now i'm all in gym gear i'm also incredibly pale guys this is january this is my january skin and you know the skin of somebody who has not seen sunlight in a good while um since parga in september so the fact that i'm in 32 degrees 33 degrees is pretty nice um but yeah i had such a nice sleep woke up to the sound of all the birds chirping and like the wildlife and also let me show you this the shadows in the windows honestly the most incredible wake up and obviously these curtains were shut as well and then if i just take you around to the bathroom look at this light tell me this lighting is not doing the most like i love this bathroom so much i've made it a little bit messy with all my stuff but oh i love it so much let me take you outside because i also want to show you the outside space and that noise that sounds really loud is actually the trees I can't believe it. We are on the coastline as well, but that's quite far out. Well, I say far out, it's not not too far. You could probably see it in the distance over there. Sorry, my lens is not clean. I'm gonna clean it in a minute. Um, 
about the heat. missed this feeling i've seriously missed this feeling of sunshine and warmth and your girl's just a summer baby that's all she is um i love this outdoor space so much i think it's beautiful you've got table and chairs over there you've got two um sun lounges you've got a swimming pool you've got a seating area down here which is beautiful and then another chair here like lounge sofa here but it's just beautiful and I really really hope I get to see some wildlife today I know we will because we're going to be doing a bush walk but I'd love to see something close to my room that would just be the most incredible thing I'm not gonna lie earlier this morning maybe about like half an hour ago I was just standing out here taking film photos and I could hear this like rustling and I was like oh my gosh is this gonna be my opportunity to see like an elephant or a leopard or something or just even like I would take something smaller, um, genuinely, but it was a ranger. <laughs> so I was like, oh, good morning, ranger. Um, but it's really nice to know that they are like wandering about and they're kind of making sure everything's all okay. But um, I'm not quite sure what that was. I'm gonna head to the gym now though, because I really wanna get a good workout in and the gym looks so good. You guys probably would have seen from social. Just gonna bolt the door again i am going to try and stay on plan for the marathon so we'll see how we go i think i'm going to probably probably manage a 5k run and maybe some weights that would be like perfect ideal situation but we'll see how we get on i really wanted to get a 10k in but it's going to have to be a 10k on the treadmill which is a little bit boring um, but it won't be boring because I'll be doing it in Sri Lanka and I'll be doing it on a treadmill that's facing outward into the wilderness where you could literally potentially see like all sorts of wildlife. So it's much more exciting than my local gym, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head in, do that now and then have breakfast. I don't know whether I'm going to go down for breakfast with my gym gear on. I've got like a spare t-shirt to throw on, but I'm definitely going to, um, make the most of the day and try and get breakfast in as soon as possible as well so maybe i will go in my gym gear um but yeah let's head off and yeah sorry for the like really long rambly morning vlog but it's just how it's gonna be guys i feel much much better today and i'm super excited to kind of see where this like whole trip takes me um so far so good i'm really really loving it Okay guys, this is the gym in its full glory. I am in love with this setup. Like, I'm gonna get the best run in ever. So I'm just gonna take it all in, enjoy my morning session. Look out there, the spa is in there. There's a sauna, there's a steam room, free weights. There's a nice mirror. I'm gonna get my workout in. Loving it. I just also really, really missed being able to wear shorts to the gym and a, just a sports top. So I'm going to be enjoying that as well. But this is the facilities. Well, these are the facilities, sorry. Um, we've got some arm stuff, we've got cable machine. We've got the bikes, cross trainers, and of course the treadmills. We've got um, some benches as well. It's just perfect. It's really, really great. So yeah. Let's get a workout in. I want to be there, baby. There's a night away. I let my head down the fire one. Don't you just get tired, Jesus? Okay, just finished a 5k. It was a warm one, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I did it fasted, which was a bit stupid. So I know the next few days when I come in here, I'm just gonna have breakfast first. Um also the aircon starts here, but the treadmills are in this bit here. So the sun was literally heating me up. Oh, 
crazy. I was thinking, I swear the gym, this gym was cold. I thought the aircon had turned off, but the aircon's over here. Um, but yeah, really good workout. It's not my fastest run by any means. I think I did that in like 35 minutes, which that's a slow 5K for me. Um, it was at 7.07 pace, so much slower than normal, but um, just glad to be back on track with running again after you know all those flights and stuff um but what i'm gonna do is try and get in here every day and do like a 5k every day because at least i'm gonna get my mileage up like that way rather than try and do a 10k in here i feel like it's gonna be too hot um also i just wanted to drink so much water understandably now because now i'm realizing that i was literally in the conservatory part of the gym um but yeah, gonna go have some breakfast now. <sighs> cool down. I might just quickly do something with some cable machines just to do like some core, some like twists. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but maybe I'll show you like a, like a workout tomorrow um, with the rest of the gym equipment. I'll try and get in like have breakfast earlier. So I'm like on the ball with it. But yeah, feeling super good. Glad I got out on a run to be honest. I needed to it's a shame I couldn't enjoy outside but I just know it would have been way too hot and also risky as well because as you know the wildlife are just chilling around here like they've even spotted before um, elephants over here so there would be a high chance and like a high risk of me um, coming into contact with one um, not that I have seen any just yet but I'm in love with this hotel already I'm truly in my element. Sri Lanka, you have stolen my heart. Um, but yeah, let's go get some breakfast and enjoy the rest of the day, get ready. It's gonna be a good one. Hey guys, so I'm heading off to the cooking class. I've got all my bags. I'm kind of a bag lady actually because I'm carrying my camera equipment. So I want to get some really nice shots of the cooking class. I'm so looking forward to it. It's gonna be in the main kitchen, I think in the Deera restaurant. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be so much fun trying out a little Sri Lankan cooking. And of course, you'll be coming with me, so you'll be seeing it all happen. Um, I'm just really looking forward to like all the spices and all the flavours. And yeah, just having a really nice afternoon. The sun is shining. It is so warm. This is the walkway view. This is like the safest route to the rest of the resorts, like where the pool is, just because... Um, the main track actually is where the elephants walk through and like other wildlife so this is the best route and it's the prettiest route as well it's so nice this is the elephant walkway here i'm hoping one day we get to see one that would be amazing but yeah it's glorious
Especially with this curry, we want to preserve that bright green color. Yeah. So the next few steps, we do it fast. Okay. So now we have the thick coconut milk in there. Lovely. A bit of mustard. <laughs> and what does that sort of consist of? So that consists of ground mustard, um, vinegar. It's all just. So this is the kind of technique that they use um, to make naans, chapatis. Yeah, mine don't always turn out right, so that's good to know. Should I try? Yes. But the amount of pressure that you um, have over here is very, very little. Okay. A lot less than you should. And then you take some practice and then you make sure that yeah, it's, it's over here yeah. and it stays in the center. It is moving. Yeah, it's off the board. So then we just pick it up. Mm -hmm. Just hold it over here. Yeah. And push it over here. And every time you feel that it's coming over here, you just use like a small roll. Yeah. You can make your rotis. They're not going to be perfect circles, but I mean, I like that. So we actually want to keep it on a little longer than we think. Just to make sure that it cooks well. This is something very important that you have to remember when we when we say about a bush walk. So don't think like it's a walk in the park. This is an area where we get all kind of wildlife. Whatever the wildlife that you're going to be seeing inside the park, we have seen it around this area. So there's plenty of like signs that you can you're going to be seeing, like how much of wildlife that we get around this area. So it's very very important you treat like when it comes to this walking, it's going to be very different. So we have to kind of keep the voice level down mm -hmm. and your mobile phones please keep them on silent like we try to keep the mechanical noise and everything minimum mm -hmm. uh, and then while we're walking we're walking single file so it's one behind each other so there's kind of we're going to be walking so i'm going to be walking at the front and sam uh, my trusted uh, partner on this <laughs> so he's going to be walking behind me and there are certain time frames that he would become and right like stand like right next to me right and if there is any kind of emergencies or anything like that, if when, when I'm dealing with the uh, with the dangerous game or something, so I'm gonna take the group control. And please, like you're listening to him, whatever, mm -hmm. like, whatever he says, you're just listening to him. No questions asked. If you have any questions, you can talk about it after we come back. And uh, so while we're going, whatever the commands that we give, we just follow that command without asking any questions. That's very very important. So this area is like a very like highly active area because it's very close to your main water body and there is another water body a little bit up, up, high up there. So this area you get all these water bufflers coming and like yeah mingling around so the males are like okay 
I need to keep my girls safe. My <laughs> right? So all the time they would just do the markings and everything. So we would see like quite a bit of marking. At a certain point, I'm not gonna stop you everyone and then leave it with Sam and then I'm gonna be walking along because there is a water body very close to our walking path. Sometimes we get these big water buffaloes just laying in that one. And like last thing we want we want to do is just bump into them mm -hmm. without having any idea. Yeah. So that's why I said like I so here it's our all our senses mm -hmm. from the head so they need to hold their weight so they have like very roundish like front foot and the back foot is going to be much more elongated because when they go faster they actually turn from their back legs not from the front wow. they menu it from the back so it's more elongated because oh. of that so it keeps the color and then uh, afterwards you brew it like we wouldn't do like all the fancy methods like like our chefs but like generally they would just like shade dry it and then like you put some hot water in the morning and you would drink that one really? very good for like any like uh, UTC like urinal tract disease or anything like that wow. it's one of the main medicines in the local Ayurveda That's interesting. this is the main thing that they're gonna be using in this ecosystem without these guys I know everyone when they think about termites they're like oh my god like it's just the, like the craziest animal like we don't like them and all but without these guys, they are the keystone species to like in this kind of ecosystem. Without these guys, everything else is gone. Everything else is gone. So they are the main decomposers. So whenever anything dies, these are the guys who would go and eat that one and decompose it. It's they are the one who's gonna make the whole chain work. So what you see on top on a termite mound, that's like one third of the the whole thing. And two thirds of it, it's underground. Yeah, because no other animal have walked on top of me. But here, the water has been already used so like, yeah, early in the morning. Here, just be careful, Sam. Sam, come. Huh? You walk on the other line. we have one truck camera here, we have another truck camera a little bit further up. So, it's mainly for leopard identification and the small mm -hmm. cats as well. So, around here we have found like quite a few leopards. Uh, we have very big male and a couple of females and there is a female with a cub as well. That, like they had like a little campsite earlier and that they removed it because it's illegal. And this one is quite old, not the ideal one to smoke, but uh, <laughs> no. Oh, it's got a mushroom. No, no, I don't no, know. No. Uh, this one, this is too old. We would, we would smoke this one not to get high or anything like that because. Elephants do eat lots of uh, high tannin uh, trees. So yeah, you get this white smoke. It is nice. It smells really nice actually, it smells like when you burn sage. I hope this isn't going to track the leopards down.
Okay, before it gets too late, yes. we'll yes. go up there. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, today is like a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Look at them there on their phones. Oh, this one is a... Uh... No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 